Howdy folks, this is John. You know, I thought I'd show you how to start a garden from scratch without having to spend any money other than the seeds. And, you know, in the spot to put it. Like, for instance, I got this uh, compost I made from cactus. It's just piles of cactus set there. And I just took a bit of the garden I had a bunch of cactus growing for the last 20 years hasn't been watered for 20 years it's almost like virgin soil hasn't been uh, forked or anything I did have a pile of cactus setting there that I went and threw it elsewhere to compost it better but there was there so there's some richness to the soil so I put uh, some compost in now cucumbers like to have morning sun to keep the uh, dry the dew and everything like that they need good light airy conditions so I'm going to grow them up this wall and the wall is kind of slanted obliquely it's not quite east west so this time of year it being almost June the sun is hitting it first thing in the morning when it comes up over the hill and so it's sun there all the way through the day now and this is straight eight cucumber, so we're gonna grow it up a trellis. So you only get two or three feet high, so it's not like an eight foot or anything like that. So we can grow it up a short little trellis right here on this wall. So we put this compost down that didn't cost nothing. We dig and and turn that in. And I should have watered it like the day before and let the water kind of soak in a bit. This has not been watered for 20 years. We did have some rain like, yeah, you know, two months ago. And you can see, even though it hasn't rained for two months, it hasn't been watered ever. It's doing pretty darn well, isn't it? Amazing. So anyways, you go ahead and turn the soil. now. Cucumbers need a lot of fertility to the soil. So if you haven't got huge amounts of compost and stuff like that built up through the years and, and, and letting uh, all the weeds die down in, well, they're going to be harder for you. So, so put some compost down. Just make your own family compost out of your kitchen waste. You could uh, do a little pit trenching and put your compost in a little piece like this and then I'm uh, going ahead and shoveling off raking uh, the the bits of fluff that are a bit too big so that we've got more soil and less of that fluffy stuff so we're also going to put mulch on I elected to use uh, wood chips and uh, wood shavings and you'll get to see that in another video here's the trellis I put up and it doesn't need to be real big and substantial in the case of a cucumber that isn't going to keep growing forever. Straight eight is one of those ones that will only grow so far and then it'll put out its cucumbers and you get a nice batch of cucumbers over the course of six weeks or so. And it yields fairly quick and you want to have a trellis because it encourages airiness. I like to pre-spout my seeds. Here's the seeds right here. That's only uh, two or three days setting there because they're new seeds, new seed packet. They're very, very fast. And I like to use mycorrhizal bacteria. This is a mycorrhizal fungus. And, and it forms an association with the plant. So when you set this little plant in there, with its root kind of facing down, it's right in contact with the mycorrhizal fungus and those little granules there. And what they'll do is they will latch onto the root, maybe even go into the root, and they will get sugars from the plant, but they have to exchange it on an atomic basis, one molecule for one, with something that the plant wants and the plant will tell the mycorrhizal bacteria i need nitrogen i need phosphorus i need potassium magnesium molybdenum 
cadmium, boron, zinc, whatever the heck it needs, it will be able to get it from the soil if it has that fungus helping it. And the fungus cannot very well exist without the plant's help. It has to latch onto the roots and go through a kind of capitalism. It's a plant capitalism. You give me what I need, I'll give you what you need that I have, that I can produce and make. And they are exchanging one element for another. And the plant can get about anything it needs from this fungus. It'll say, hey, I need water. It is said that these fungus can bring water to the plants. So that is a very essential part of gardening is is being aware of all the combinations the things that are good and the things that are bad that cause problems maybe don't cause problems sometimes cause a problem sometimes sometimes not and that's why you need companionship with groups of people that are gardeners because you'll pick up a lot of stuff join this and and other channels that talk about gardening because it's something we've been doing forever and there's so much to know about it and the circumstances change everywhere what works for you may not work for me like for instance cucumbers ought to be planted in such a way that no water will be standing around them so normally you might want to put them up on a, a raised bed here so that any irrigation water will not pool around them. But we don't get heavy irrigation or heavy rains here, and these cucumbers are in no danger of being drowned in their roots and getting rot there. But if you're in an area with high humidity, high rain, uh, all the conditions that cucumbers have problems with, then you make sure that you put them on a trellis and you raise that bed up a bit and you water near the base of the plants, not on the base of the plants. So these are all the things that you start to learn bit by bit as you go through your gardening journey. Well, thank you much, folk. Have yourself a good day. Stay tuned for the rest of the grow of these cucumbers. See you around now. Bye.